Today, we are fishing for giant bass in hidden ponds. We're headed out to a location we never fished before in hopes that we can land some of these giants. It can be difficult finding the right ponds to fish, but by the end of the video, not only did we find some fire ponds with big bass, but we had a ton of surprise catches that you'll have to see. So sit back, relax, and join us on this journey to catch some of these monsters. All right, boys, we're gonna be hunting for these giants today. I got an old lipless crankbait on my Kicking Their Bass TV, x -Lose combo. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. But let's go ahead and get it started. Fall time is here. Fish are chewing up on bait. And I'm excited to catch some big bass today, guys. We're going to be hitting a lot of different places today. And uh, most of these we don't actually know. Like, we haven't fished before. So I'm even more excited about that. Just kind of pond hopping and searching for these giants. It's going to be a nice steamrolling this trap. I actually got Tara with me, too. She's on the other side over there. And she has, like, a little Texas rig. And I don't know if you guys see, but over here on this other side of the bank, bunch of different laydowns. It looks prime for a bottom bait. But you guys know, fall time, bass chewing up on bait. And there's not a perfect or better bait than a lipless crankbait this time of year. By far my favorite. Y'all will be seeing me throw a lipless for a little bit of time, especially since we're in the fall. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. Well, you saw a bunch of little like boils. That, uh, that shaded area right there? Yeah. Something blew up over there. Sure. Right like right in that like, corner. Go in the, go I know, I'm being a little Something's careful. Moving, I see it. There we go, just like that. There. Well, that is not a bass. That's a catfish. What is that? Wait, is that what I saw like going crazy? I, what is that? It's a catfish. I literally just catch the first fish of the day, guys. And it's a freaking catfish. Oh, I got him hooked extremely well all right that is bad he's got it's actually got his mouth shut boys we got some technical difficulties uh i forgot the water wasn't in front of me and i kind of threw him right in the mud come on buddy go go yes oh my gosh that should have not been as difficult as it was he got hooked up worse than i've ever seen a fish get hooked up on a lipless then i try to throw him back in the water i straight mud plant him right into the ground but guess what that is our first fish of the day would have not guessed to catch a catfish on a lipless to start off the video but that is a start and uh we got the skunk off our bag now so we're moving all right tara no more catfish don't be telling me where the catfish are sitting she's like throw right there and then i just get slammed by a cat oh dude this looks spectacular and guys i'm pretty sure i just picked up on something that uh, would have been nice to pick up on a minute ago. And I probably would have changed my approach. But I am 90% positive that this is a brackish pond, which means there's more than likely some fresh water and saltwater fish in here. More than likely saltwater though. And I think that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot of boils from just different saltwater fish. One thing I have noticed too, is if you look on the bank, and that's what spooked me earlier when I threw that catfish back, that is wet right and the water's down so that tells us one thing and i can tell the water's moving ever so slightly the water's actually low and uh this is definitely getting funneled by a natural creek that is uh either salt water or brackish water so with that being said it might not be a bad idea to come back here later if we want to but we need to keep moving spots this is definitely a salt water pond and we're here to find these big bass massive tree gosh i was waiting for a head shake but too good to be true we're definitely getting this back though i am not gonna lose my trap in that tree i think this is another saltwater pond to be honest with you i don't know if you guys see those shells right there too oh we're just gonna pull in the whole tree boys we have caught nothing but trees pine straw and catfish there we go. All right, we're on to the next one. We're gonna move quick, guys. If they ain't biting or we're not feeling it, we're just gonna keep on going. All right, boys, new pond, new me. Let's get started. 
This one looking, this one looking saucy. I like the water clarity, got a little bit of wind, good ripple on the water, a little more open. Demon. I'm feeling a bite pretty quick here. I'm sensing it, boys. Water looks right. Everything just sets up good at this pond. You got it, yes, you got one. Heck yeah. What you got, girl? Beautiful first bass of the day. It yeah. looks good. That was a nice one. I'm throwing a Texas rig with a curl on it. Felt the tick. I actually felt him follow it. Felt a little small tick. Nothing, and then he followed it all the way to the bank. Good job, girl. Yes. First bass. That's what we needed. We just needed one, you know what I mean? Now they're going to turn up. There he is right there. There we go, baby. He came off. Nothing but a pound and a half. Oh yeah, guys, we're we're about to turn up. I feel it. I'm feeling it. He smoked that thing too. So we actually had a big cold front roll in. I know everybody around the US probably had this cold front a couple days ago. And I was curious to see how these fish are gonna bite, but it's been about three days since the cold front. I didn't wanna really fish right after it because sometimes they're just acting up and they're not wanting to bite at all, but that is a good sign. Just like that. I was working it a lot different that time too. There we go, baby. Not a big one, but he is feisty. He is feisty and that is my first bass right here. We land him. Come here, baby. Let's go. Little pounder. He's pretty chunky though. You can tell he's been eating. That is a super healthy fish. Got that front treble. There we go, boys. Not a big one, but we are on board now with our first bass of the day. Minus the one we just missed, but that is a fat little chunk. Thank you, baby. And I think I just learned something off that. So, you know, I talk about this all the time, guys. When you go out fishing, you need to be paying attention to the little things. I've been reeling it in pretty quick because it's so shallow. I don't feel like picking up the pine straw and all the gook on the bottom. So I'm reeling it pretty fast. A different method that you can do with this lipless that just I've had a lot of success with is you throw it out and I'm just gonna reel it in, right? Just like this. And I'm gonna start stroking the bait up and letting it fall. I'm gonna reel my slack, stroke it back up, let it fall. And some days that is a killer method of getting these bites. And that's actually just how I caught that one. So we're gonna start trying it out. And maybe that's what they want today. So let's start giving this a try and see if we can increase our bites. Look at that. Look at that. That's a better one. That's a big one right there, boys. That's a big and he's running way to the right. Oh my gosh, he's just, yeah. That's a big fish. Don't be calling me. You're calling me at the wrong time, Bubba. This is a monster, guys. I got him hooked weird. Terry, I got a giant. I got a giant, I think. No, it's a good fish, though. I just got him hooked weird. Oh my gosh, it's a brute, though. Look at that fish. That is the smallest, fattest bass I've ever seen. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is a straight meatball look at how fat that fish is i mean that, that fish is every bit of over three pounds when he should only be two pounds i mean look at how fat that slab is oh my goodness he felt huge that is probably the stockiest fish i've caught all year honestly <laughs> little tiny short tail that's kind of how that first one was i caught but beautiful colors on that bass and man he fought good it made me think i had a monster that is our first good fish today. That's a three pounder and a two pounder's body, man. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Heck yeah, that is sick. I'm gonna tell you, I threw right out there in the middle. I started reeling it, I saw a boil behind my bait and it was instant. He just slammed it. There might be some more fish stacked up out there. I'm telling you, when he bit me, I saw another boil behind me and I don't know if it's just multiple fish or if that was actually his boil. So let's make another cast out there. That was insane, man. I mean, these fish, that was one of the healthiest bass I've ever caught. All right, boys, pond number four. Oh, and this looks spicy. 
It's looking spicy ticey. We got the ball rolling at the last pond. Oop. These are definitely saltwater fish. I'm getting I'm getting slammed. I'm gonna run back to the truck real quick. I don't think that these are bass and I'm curious to see what they are. So we're gonna go tie on just a regular like jig head with a swim bait on it. I lie boys, we're gonna try this real quick. I don't know, it just it doesn't look like salt water. That was a big one. Big one. My rod is just whistling. This is a massive one, Terry. Massive. I'm talking like, I got him in the tail. What is it? What is it? What kind of, oh, it's a bass. Okay, I'm so confused. Gosh, he had my rod whistling, boys. <laughs> Tara, that thing was going crazy. Oh, he's aggressive too. Pretty pound and a half, maybe two pound fish. I thought I had a giant there. I had to toss him. There ain't no way I'm tossing him in that grass again. Not treating him like a catfish. You know, guys, I'm having to work this trap so fast. Like, I'm not wanting to. It's just these ponds are so shallow. And with the grass and pine straw, it's like you don't have a chance to work it slow. You got to just keep moving it and popping it off the bottom. But they're still biting. I'm getting some good bites here. that was a monster i'm talking giant look at the boil i could that fish felt like a freaking tank so he tried to swallow it and i think he just barely missed it i think i was just reeling it so fast that he was just he got aggressive i felt him for two seconds and he just came off oh there we go there's another one right where i caught that other one small one though Eep. He's a small one, but he's a fat one. We catch the small ones, we, we miss the big ones. And I know that's just a funny saying, guys. You're about to be like, oh, they actually weren't big, but no. No, 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 no. That fish was a monster. But I will say I've had two bites under this tree right here. Something about that little spot. It's holding fish. And then me and Tara both lost those two good ones right here to the left. It's crazy because we didn't have any bites up there on the pond. It's all in this corner and it's right where this pipe connects. There he is, right out in the middle. That looks like a good one. I can't tell though. He feels nice. Gosh, the boil looks crazy. Oh, do I have him hooked weird again? What is going on? Yeah, it's not even that big. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a good pound and a half here. Thank you, baby. Thank you for the nibble. Got that one hook bottom jaw. It's a pretty bass. Thank you, buddy. He was way out in the middle out there. All right, boys. Let's go across the street. There we go. Oh, he came off. <laughs> oh, you, oh, Tara, that was a monster. My bait's messed up. That was a monster. He might eat it again. Did you hook him? That boil looked insane. You try to eat it. Boys, we're getting tested by the big fish today. We just got to be patient, stay positive, and it's going to happen. That's a big. Come on. I can't tell if he's big or not. You feel? Yeah, that's a. It might be the best one today, Terry. Yeah, look at that. As it was coming out of my mouth. Oh. Look at how pretty that fish is. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Just have to stay positive. Keep fishing. And boom, got a nice one. That's probably a two and three quarter, close to three pound bass. We're a step closer for some of these giants. Let's get her back in the water. Thank you, baby. These fish are just brutes. Guys, you see that? 
We got a little flustered earlier. We just gotta stay positive, we gotta keep casting. And as I was coming out of my mouth, boom, we catch a three pounder. I wanna tell you, man, we just gotta keep at it. We've had these fish beat us up. We just gotta keep fishing. We're gonna get the bites. Right there, baby. Come on, big Bertha. Guys, these three pounders are nice, but I want I want to see a dang six, seven pounder. I don't know if we had the opportunity today, but we definitely had some on above three. I mean, we had a couple really good fish. Not massive boils. There's two. There's three boils. There's one on the other side. He ate it just like that. Little tiny fish. If you guys are wondering why I'm staying so far off the bank here, I'm not wanting to spook this fish because I can technically throw it right back in and catch another one. We're gonna unhook this fish. I'm actually gonna release them just right here. I was trying to put one on your hook, but hey, there's a lot over here. Come here, Ty. I'm telling you, there's a lot. You're gonna throw in, you're gonna get bit right away, okay? Just throw right up on that corner, you're done. Like, you're, you're, he's on, I'm telling you. Boom, right there, it's game over. There's more on this bridge, too. I threw in here, there's there so many boils. I, he ate me instantly. You got him? Nice. That was sick. Good job, girl. Small but mighty. Small but mighty. That's how mine, honestly, mine was smaller than that. Good job. <laughs> little tiny one. <laughs> Sorry, I hey, no, you're good. Like. Yeah, you want me to show her? You want to see a fish, Arden? Look. That's cool, right? Look. Fishy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. You. Have a good night. She was shy of the little take. The little take fish to the little take. The little take fish to the little take human. You know what I mean? All right, boys, one last time for good measures over here, and then we are going to a new spot. We stayed a little too long at these ponds, but we did get a lot of bites, caught a lot of fish, missed a couple nice ones, caught a nice one. Biggin? No. <laughs> you let that fish have it. You weren't trying to get him to come off, were you? He was You were break dancing over there, man. <laughs> A little bit of break dance action. <laughs> a little bit of break dance action. I like it. Fast, I was reeling. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. A little twinkies. All right, Tara. Listen, these fish were fun, but it's time to go catch some big ones. We're still on a mission. We gotta keep pond hopping and find these giants, baby. Let's keep it going. Right away. Golly, boys. Twinkie fish. Well, there he goes. Well, I couldn't even say we're at a new pond, but we're, <laughs> we're at a new pond and uh, first cast got swamped, just not a big one. Oh, that was the littlest little sharky. Did you see him? <laughs> what was that? I like tried to hook him and he just went straight up in the air. It looks good, I just don't know. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a nice one, Tara. Oh, yeah, baby. First cast again in another pond. First cast magic. Yeah, that's a good two pounder. Look at that, how fat he is. Nice. There we go, boys. First cast on the last pond. Caught a tiny one. First cast on this pond. Got a little bigger. Heck yeah, beautiful two pound bass there. Little fat dude. Some of these fish are just brutes, guys. You can tell they're eating up on bait right now, fall time, and they're chewing. There you go, buddy. There it goes. All right, boys, we are back fishing, and we're here for some revenge. We got to capitalize today, and more importantly, catch some big bass. And I know we're going to have some opportunities today, so let's just keep moving, casting around, keep a positive attitude, and catch some of these hogs. Saw some bait moving around in this corner in a loon chasing. 
This might be the zone right over here. Haven't had a bite yet, but I can pay attention to that bait and kind of position ourselves in maybe the right spot. This water in this pond is actually really clear. It's a lot clearer than I was hoping, honestly. But we got a natural color on. Just a lot of vibration with this lipless, but we can still catch them in this. right there can't tell how big this fish is guys feels like a good one i can't tell he's just pulling me i might have him hooked weird look at him just running okay oh that's a decent fish there we go let's start off today on a good note look at that fish go Oh my gosh, he is strong. Come on, Bubba. Oh yeah, good little two pounder. Healthy fish, super fat. He slammed that trap and I'll tell you, the reason we caught this fish, there's two reasons. Beautiful point out there. And two, we actually saw that bird feeding on some bait and then boom, throw in there. Catch a little two pounder, super healthy. Thank you, baby. That is money, guys. There's probably more fish over there too. That bird was eating bait. I can only assume, especially on that corner, on that bend, there's a lot more fish down there. We are on board, son. That did not take long, maybe 10 minutes. Caught a fish. Let's see if there's some more out there. Just imagine they're stacked up on that bait. Oh, there was a huge blow up over there. Did you see that, Tara? Yeah, look at him schooling over there. Oh, dude. That is just way too far out of my reach. This is a big pond. You know what, screw it, we're going. We're gonna meet Tara over there. They're freaking blowing up like crazy and that loon actually moved over there. So maybe the bait's just going down the bank. And that school of bass is following that bait too. Here we go. I think they're gonna continue to go back there. I don't even know if they're where I just cast it anymore. I'll throw one on this point just for good measures. Oh my gosh, Tara, they're schooling over here again. Every time I cast, they're just schooling. I was a little short. I cannot believe I haven't got hit in that. That's insane. Yeah, look at that. That's coming in from the other side. Hard part about that incoming tide is they could be anywhere. I bet you that there's 100% fish around this, though, for sure. Oh, little pinfish. I was literally just thinking that in my head. I'm like, if I catch a pinfish, should I give it to the bird? Should I give it to him? I feel like I should, right? You should. Hold on. Here. Here, bird. Heron. Here. Guess you don't want it. So nice, that's a pretty little pinfish, though. So I love how he has like a little bit of blue. Yellow, let's try it. All right, boys, a little switching plans. We're gonna try a little bit of multi-species action. A little bit of bass, a little bit of tarpon, a little bit of redfish, maybe a little bit of everything. I guess we're gonna figure it out. So I'm actually gonna rig up just a little tiny jig head, pretty basic. And we're gonna see what we can get bit. I think we're gonna catch a mixture of everything if they're gonna bite, so. We're gonna try something different out just for a second. Since we're by these ponds, that just look a little salty to me. I'm gonna get one of these mama's chicken swim baits that is money boys for about anything that'll bite these bass will bite this thing too this is brackish somebody left their bait out here it's literally a bag of mullet that should tell us something we're doing something right <laughs> i don't think they're fishing for mullet for bass yeah. i think we're gonna get slammed we're walking out to this pond it's in this corner and it's got a lot of current in it I think that's going to be the game changer. Oh, Tara, there's a blow up right there. What is that? Or is that water? That's all water. No, right there. Look, there's fish jumping over there. There's so much movement, but look at this like water pit. Oh, yeah, this is where the water's coming in. 
Yeah, they're jumping everywhere. Holy cow. A crab? Oh, all of them. There is there crabs? Yeah, I know they're coming out of them. It's kind of freaky. Did you get any bites in that? Not yet. Yeah, they're flickering pretty hard. Oh, oh, dude, come on! He just hammered me there. Really? Yeah. Just one hard hit, like I just never had it. I mean, this is right where the current's at. It would make sense. Yeah, look at them jumping. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I just got hit again. Oh, they're hitting it. I'm gonna let it sink. Oh, you know what I wish I brought is that little, oh, I had like this little like jig head. I'm gonna go get the truck. I want you to tie on that little bait and I bet you'll catch whatever the heck's jumping out there. I got a little rooster. Look at that. See, this might be too light for me to even catch. I'm just gonna lift off. Like that. No way, it's not a bluegill. It has to be like a pinfish. Oh my gosh, it is a pin. It's crazy bait. Look at that, boys. Just caught a pinfish on a rooster tail. You said we can't do a little bit of saltwater action. A little bit of multi-species pond action. It's had to work. This little rooster tail, pretty slow there and he ate it. Oh my gosh, look at him right in front of you. Look at all, oh, you got a school. They were all taking it. Look how many are right there. Oh, there's a whole school. I don't know if the camera can see that, it's getting dark. Oh, get him, you got him. Oh, you might get something bigger. Oh, you got, you got a nice fish. You got a nice fish. Let him fight, let him fight. Let him fight, you got a big one. What is that? Is it a red? Is it a red? I can't see it. Oh, it's a red! Yes. 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 Oh my gosh. Oh, so Let's pretty. go. Look at yes. that girl. Hey, we end off the day with a red fish. I caught a little pinfish. You over here catching reds. We were hoping for a red. I don't know. I can't That's believe crazy. you ate this tiny little thing. Hold them up for the camera, girl. There we go, Tara. Heck yeah. They're beautiful. All right, get them back in. Yes. Don't don't toss them. Get them in the water soft if you can. They're a little fragile. There you go. Good job. Heck yeah. You want a high five? No, nah, not doing that. <laughs>